In physics, there exists a very useful theorem that we can use to help us calculate the moment of inertia of our rotating object. So let's suppose we have the following rigid solid cylinder that is rotating about axis number two. So axis number two is simply a line about which our object is actually rotating. Now another important axis that we will need to use in the theorem is axis number one. Axis number one is a line that passes through the center of mass. So let's look at the following theorem. So this is the parallel axis theorem. If axis number one and axis number two is a distance t apart, if the distance from axis number one to axis number two is d, well then we can use the following formula to help us calculate what the moment of inertia of our object is rotating about axis number two. So the moment of inertia is equal to the sum of the moment of inertia about the center of mass axis plus our md squared where m is simply our mass of the object, d squared is simply our distance between axis 1 and axis 2 squared. So once again, this quantity is simply the moment of inertia about the axis passing through the center of mass. So if our object was instead rotating about axis number one and not axis number two, then we can simply find the moment of inertia of the object by simply using ICM. Now, because the object is rotating about axis number two and not axis number one, we can use the following formula to help us find the moment of inertia. So let's look at one such example in which we're going to apply the parallel axis theorem. So, we want to find the moment of inertia of a solid cylinder as shown with a mass of 10 kilograms and a distance of 55 centimeters or 0.55 meters separating our axis that passes through our center of mass and the axis about which our object rotates axis number two. So this distance is 0.55 meters. So we apply the parallel axis theorem. We write it in the following format. So I equals ICM plus MD squared. Now in a previous lecture we saw that ICM for a rigid solid cylinder was one half MD squared where D is simply the radius of the circle and also the distance between axis one and axis two. So notice we have one half MD squared plus MD squared and we get 3 halves md squared or 1.5 md squared. So we know what the m is, we know what the d is, we plug that in, we square the 0.55, we multiply that by 10 and by 1.5 and we get approximately 4.54 kilograms times meters squared is our moment of inertia.